Greetings today from the Source NY Meta Energy Studio in Poughkeepsie, New York. I am Dr. Stacey Lamar on this Wednesday, August 23rd, 2023. We are going Mercury retrograde today, and we are getting ready to experience our second full moon in August, super moon, the blue moon, uh, next week, August 31st, thereabouts. So it is a really good time to bring a message of manifestation to you. And I want to use the Orosoma bottle behind me, bottle 43, all turquoise. I want to bring it a little closer so you can see that even though it's fractionated, you see the split, it is an all turquoise bottle. All right. I'm choosing this bottle because turquoise in the Orosoma collection represents uh, mastery of body, mind, and spirit mastery of self and you have a week-long process right now where we hit a pause with mercury retrograde and we can take time in our daily life and in, in our daily spiritual practice to actually truly do work to manifest and master myself so i recommend if you are on a journey of wanting to make your dreams and visions happen take the next week take today wednesday through the full moon and make your spiritual practice more dedicated if you will more concrete if you will take the time to use this energy of pause and connect with your heart so that you can envision and make yourself make your dreams and visions all these things that you want to happen come into your reality okay in the tarot Bottle 43 is connected to the Eight of Cups. And you can see that the Eight of Cups is really this person on their journey, on the winding road, trying to make things clear, right? Trying to figure out what's my next step on my journey. So the Eight of Cups, you can take a look at this in your own free time and see if anything um, pops for you on this card. Mastery of Body, Mind, Spirit, the Process of Individuation, the Turquoise Ray being able to really communicate with and open up my third eye and help to have my energy field, my energy field learn to attract, train it to attract the good, attract the good, okay? The best way to start is to learn how to and respect the process of meditation. We say it over and over again in the spiritual world. Your energy field is connected to the energies of the cosmos, the energies of those around you, all right? And your heart center is the main source of truth for you. It is your source of truth. Connecting to your heart is where your truth is centered and balanced. So when you hear messages from somebody, anybody out there, and it doesn't really resonate with you, then it doesn't speak to your truth. When it pops and it does resonate with you, then this is speaking to your truth. And there's many different ways to embrace truth. There's not just one way. There's not one spiritual practice on this planet, right? There's lots of spiritual practices. And what works for you is individuation. And then using that spiritual practice that works for you is the process of individuation, the process of mastering myself, body, mind, and spirit, right? I'm using the turquoise colors to help create and bring a message to you, I'm using the Mercury retrograde start date um, as a really good start date for you to create a plan and, and use the energy that is happening, this pause, this retrograde time into the next full moon next week um, in your favor. Use the energies around you so that you can bring into your reality those things that you really want to happen for you. Meditation, connecting with your heart center so that you can take what's in your mind and make that energy come back to you as reality, okay? The name of the bottle or a Soma bottle uh, 43 that I'm talking about is called Creativity. Okay. There are lots of creative ways to make your dreams reality. That's not just using art, you know, colors, painting, um, music, song, dance. Creating my 
world that I want to be part of. It can happen. All right. It's not pie in the sky. All right. So set your intentions, put them in writing, do the practices that will help you to strengthen your heart space, know your truth, feel your truth, so that your truth connects with your brain, your logical self, and helps to make that reality, that vision of what you want to be real, okay? It's not that hard to do. It doesn't always happen easily, but anything that you are willing to work for and willing to put the energy into is a possibility. There are no limits on this planet. You can create every dream you want to be and make it a reality if you put the work in and the effort in and you learn how to remove ego from the process uh, and use more discernment and, dis and uh, use yeah more discernment and being able to know what your truth is and creating a truth that causes no harm for others and is in your best interest for what you want to aspire to. Um, yeah, that's it. The eight of cups, the eight of cups, what's going on in your winding road in your journey, mastery of body, mind, spirit, the turquoise ray, part of the message today. Take advantage of this energy. Use it to your benefit so that you can manifest all your dreams. If you want more clarity, more steps that work for me, you can check out the Starseed book. I'm not trying to sell my book right now, but I have processes here at the Source NY, this Meta Energy Studio that I use every day to help manifest my dreams. And boy, have I come a long way. I pray that those that are committed to their spiritual journey feel the results this week, feel the results that you are looking for to feel so that you know that you really can make it happen. That's my intention for you guys this week. So have a wonderful week and we'll talk, we'll touch base next week when the, when the full moon is coming around. God bless.